Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this. The Obidati Presidential Campaign Council has disclosed that progress is being made at the ongoing inspection of the electoral materials by its lawyers at the Independent National Electoral Commission. Nigeria News Agency reports that the spokesman for Obidati PCC, Yunus Atanko, on Tuesday said that the party's legal team had started gathering some pertinent information from the papers submitted. He claimed that because the team has begun gathering some important documents at the INEC office, there has been progress. If INEC does not give its legal team access to the election materials used for the presidential and national assembly elections, the Labour Party has threatened to demonstrate at all INEC offices nationwide. This threat was made on Monday. However, the party's Monday meeting with INEC chairman Prof. Mahmoud Yakubu produced fruitful outcomes because the commission authorized the inspection. Yakubu assured the legal team that the commission would provide them with access to the documents and a schedule for the inspection. Tanko provided updates on the inspection's progress, saying, of course, we, have, we, are, we are having some kind of development. Regardless of the outcome, at least we have begun to gather some evidence from INEC that will support our case. Nigerian politics are such that anyone who lies will search for another lie to cover it the next day. By the third day, he must get another to defend himself. You will make mistakes while trying to find a lie to hide, and the truth will come to light. It is a clear-cut decision. Then wouldn't it be preferable to speak the truth in order to get a good night's rest? We will provide you a schedule of how we, went, how we want to completely perform this particular procedure. The INEC chairman remarked, if I may use his words, it happens frequently, but he made a commitment to providing us with all the assistance we need to pursue our case. I just used terms that he used exactly. At this specific point, the most essential thing is for us to start with anything. In order to meet the deadline for bringing the matter to court in the first place, more supporting papers may be submitted as we proceed with our investigation. Already, we have lost a lot of time as respects the difficulty of getting the documentation that we required. Normally, we should visit the state chapters and gather all the necessary data to determine the precise extent of the harm done to Nigerian. Well, the long anticipated, you know, February 25th presidential and national assembly election has come and gone. You know, the winner declared, but the litigations over you know the process that produced the winner is still ongoing uh you no know, i'm looking up to a day that nigerians will hold election and after the election there will not be anything like litigation challenging the process that brings the process of the electoral the, the, that, that the, there will not be litigation challenging the electoral process that is the day i will say thank you god that nigeria has come to the point where we can say, you know, we have conquered, you know, electoral malpractices. The, the, the February 25th presidential and national assembly election was characterized with a whole lot of things. Electoral malpractices, you know, violent and all kind of things you can talk about. And that is what has led to what we are having presently as litigation against the the, the, the winning, the, the, the person who has been declared winner. Like Peter Obi rightly said that he's not against, you know, uh, Bola Ahmed Nubu winning the election. That what is challenging is the process with which he won the election. And, you know, this election uh, has been uh, rated as the worst electoral fraud in the human history. You know, and it has also been um, characterized with all kind of electoral malpractices, violence, you know, national ballot balls, attack on the electorate, and all that. And because of all this, that is why we are seeing this uh, litigation against the winner of the presidential election. That is why you see presidential candidates challenging the, the 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 challenging the process with which this election was done and challenging the 
authentic of the winner. Now, uh, the Labour Party has uh, been on this, and even the People Democratic Party has been on it too, because these are the two major political parties that vied for this presidential pool. And the, you know, the Labour Party has come out to say they are making progress. You know, uh, they went to court to demand for, you know, the materials to use for the elect election. But unfortunately, the, uh, fortunately, the, INEC, uh, the court granted them, you know, permission to assess those materials from the INEC office. But you know how it is here in Nigeria. You know, uh, the authorities do what they want. So the INEC authorities are not giving them the opportunity, the time, to, to are not giving them uh, a space to inspect those materials. And uh, a few days ago, you know, the, the Labour Party uh, legal team went to meet with uh, the national chairman of the you know, uh, uh, National Electoral Commission, INEC, and he assured them they are going to give them those things. And they made you know, some clarification of why some things are not uh, 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 you know how why the the national office cannot provide everything needed, which we reason with them, you know, uh, because uh, like in the state levels, you know, uh, most of the materials are in the state levels and all that, you know, and the state annex office. So, but the one that they can provide for them in the national, they will do. So the 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 pieces the Labour Party PCC has come out to say they are making progress. But the question I keep asking is, how long are we going to do this? That every election year people must go to court, people must challenge the process with which you know a winner emerges. How long are we going to continue to do this as a country? Yes, I know that in some part of the world. These things are bound to happen. That is the reason why the government the authority has instituted the electoral uh, uh, tribunal, you know, the body that will be able to manage and uh, see to electoral uh, dispute. But our own is too much. It's too glaring. You know, uh, in an election where most voters are disenfranchised, just because they want some, you know, candidate. To, be won the, to win the election, a country where ballot balls are been snatched, burnt, and nothing has happened, nobody has been, has been arrested, and nobody has been prosecuted for doing that. So the question is, how long are we going to continue with this kind of system? How long? That is the pain I'm having right here. How long? How long? Nigerians will come out with the whole of enthusiasm and everything to cast their vote. And at the end of the day, that vote is not counted. It's unfortunate we are finding ourselves in this position. And funny enough, there is no, our, there, the, the Nigerians, we don't have hope in our judiciary. We don't have hope in our judiciary. Our system is back, you know, is, I don't know how to describe it. But our judiciary system is nothing to write home about. You know, uh, we can't beat hand on our chest and say we are sure that we'll get judgment where we'll get to the, to, to, to the, by the judiciary. So these things are all being, um, they, they are being, uh, they, they, there is this kind of distrust in the heart of Nigeria. Well, I hope that uh, all that the political parties are doing, that the right judgment will be given at the end of the day, at least to his to, to restore the hope of Nigerians in the judiciary. Well, this is just my take. I would like you to feel free to comment. Let us know what you think about this and also subscribe to our channel for updates on this and more to come. Thank you.